With tens of thousands of Chinese restaurants in America, last year the world-famous Michelin Guide only awarded one U.S. Chinese restaurant a Michelin star. It gave out stars to 231 restaurants nationwide, including to 49 Japanese restaurants and 13 Korean ones. Hanson Lee is the CEO of Lazy Susan and has also been involved with several Michelin star restaurants, none of which were Chinese. I think Chinese American food have had to do a lot of work of changing or evolving the taste of the dishes to suit and to be successful in America. Having the stereotype for a long time of being a cuisine that should be cheap, should be a lot of food. The founder of Eight Tables, George Chen, shows me their signature dish. This first course is nine essential flavors of Chinese cuisine. The nine flavors are sweet, salty, sour, bitter, numbing, tingling, spicy hot, fragrant nutty, sharp fresh, and smoky. The restaurant seeks to elevate Chinese American food with a private dining experience for just eight tables. How can that be sausage? The, you, you see, it's in there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Chen admits his team was crushed when Michelin did not recognize his restaurant. People said maybe we were going to get two, but at least one, and we didn't get any, and we still don't have any. And yeah, it bugs me. It helps bring more people here to work, to discover this food. You can see the incredible detail of this time and eye fish, cilantro oil, Sichuan flavors, Shanghai bok choy, and a sauce made from its own bones and fish head. You may be wondering how much a meal here costs. Well, five courses, $150, nine courses, $250. And they say, whoa, that's expensive for Chinese food. Right. <laughs> I hate that. People pay $20 for a pasta bolognese, the meat sauce, not complaining. I have fresh chow mein noodles made for me with fresh vegetables, shrimp, roast pork, for twice the portion, and I charge 20 bucks. People think it's outrage. We don't cut corners. Our ingredients are the best. So why should Chinese food be relegated to cheap, inexpensive? Eight Tables head chef Floyd Nunn has worked and trained at several Michelin star restaurants. I didn't see much of a difference between what I was serving there and what we're serving here. And I think the perception around cooking Chinese food with the same price tag that we were serving this European-centric uh, food there uh, is, is, you know, people are just expecting it to be less expensive. But the, the value comes in a lot of ingredients that people aren't familiar with, like the fish moss, the sea cucumbers. Americans like Chinese food. That's without a doubt. We unfortunately maybe bucket it into the cheaper Chinese food that most people grew up with. And it's hard for a chef, a creative chef, who want to, you know, take that next few steps up. Lee is actually working with the Asian American nonprofit Gold House and reservation platform Open Table to launch the Gold Chef Prize, which will award nine Asian Pacific chefs cash prizes, promotion opportunities, and mentorship. And for Eight Tables None, recognition or not, he plans to keep innovating with Chinese cuisine, which he says has so many more tastes to offer than what America and much of the world have yet to explore. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.